Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get retro motion graphics text effects like this. And like this. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, ring that bell notification because I'll be dropping new videos every week on graphics design in particular. Thank you. Okay, well the first thing you want to want to do after you've got After Effects open is to click New Composition. Now I'm going to show you the composition settings I have right now. I'm going to be doing it at 24 frames a second because that's roughly what old motion graphics will be using. And I'll also put it at 10 seconds for this example. I also will give a link in the description to the tutorial that helped me learn how to do this. I'm going to be naming this Retro Text Effect. But you can name your file whatever you want. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is press Command Y to get yourself a solid layer. Now I want to be naming this layer just back and I'm going to make it a pink or any color really that the face but you can make it pink and I'm going to do another solid layer I'm going to make this one white white specs you can call it white dust if you want to but I'm going to be calling my white specs this is just going to be for the flickering and then then what you're going to want to do in the effects is you're going to want to go to fractal noise click on this one and it's going to bring up this screen after this what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to contrast and brightness and adjust it to these settings. We're going to go 500 for the contrast and then for brightness we're going to go minus 260. Now this will create a sort of mapping like this but um, now we need to add the flickering in. Right now you're going to want to press E on your keyboard and this will bring up the effects down here. Now you're going to want to click on this and press option or alt if you're on a, if you're on a Windows. And this will open up this text bubble. Now you're going to want to type in wiggle 24 because that is the frames per second and then 30,000. Now you want to change the mode for this to be in screen. Now as you can see guys, you see this little flickering? It's appearing every couple of seconds. That is the effect we want. It's sort of like dust and it's a lot of old film cameras have it. If you want the effect to be more intense, you can up the brightness. However, I do recommend keeping it around... 250, 260. That works perfect for me. Now what I want you guys to do is click on white specs and press command or control D if you're on a Windows. And this will have another layer. And we're going to want to rename this layer black specs. Now you're going to want to make this mode a multiply. Then type in UU and I'll show you the effects that we've done thus far. And for brightness now you want to go positive 260. Now you can delete this backing layer if you want. And now comes the fun part. I want you to go to the text. Then I'm going to type in retro text effect. Now the font I'm using is called Pragmatica Extended. I think it's called Pragmatica Extended. It's a Adobe text font and it's one that looks the most retro. So I suggest using it as well. Now you want to go to a line and then just align in the center of the screen if you want. And um, you can like adjust the, the way things are like the tracking and blah blah blah. I'm just going to leave it as this because I'm just doing the tutorial. Now you need to go to effects right now and you want to get a Gaussian blur. A Gaussian blur. Now you want to get this about, I'd say, six. Like you want to eyeball it roughly. So it looks like it's on a screen. I'd say about there looks good. And after this, you want to go back into your effects and you want to type in glow and you want to get stylized glow and then you want to go to stylized glow and then you want to up the radius to let's say uh, about 316 is okay but then you want to reduce the glow intensity so it's just about there but it's up to you really you can eyeball this but it's up to you okay now you want to type in fill in the effects and presets and drag it over and you want to make the color something of a dark type red which is like something you see in a lot of these old films you want to type in e so you open up the effects down here you want to go to fill and you want to make a keyframe one keyframe here and then you want to go to about let's say um, two seconds and make another keyframe now on this keyframe you're going to want to do an off-white type color so i'm going to go into maybe my yellows something like that um, it's really up to you guys what you want to do with this but as you can see if we if i press play going to fade into this white and then what we want to do is highlight these and copy and paste them and then we want to click back on them highlight them and then go into keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes and this will just basically reverse the thing so it goes from red to white and then back from white to red i think that looks quite nice and now we're going to want to make it fade in and out because a lot of these things do fade in and out Click on the last keyframe and press T and this will bring up your opacity. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put one, you're going to want to click this stopwatch 
and have the opacity here and set it to zero. Then at the second keyframe, you're gonna to wanna to have the opacity back up. Put a keyframe here and set it to 100. Then at about seven seconds, we're gonna to wanna to put another keyframe for the opacity at zero. So when we watch this back, this is what will happen. We'll fade in, turn white, stay white, and then slowly fade back out as it turns red. Now you can adjust these settings to uh, your time preferences, but this is what I've got it at right now. Now the thing that's crucial with these old types of films is that they will put on motion graphics machines that uh, weren't great and they were using voltage. So the text would move and uh, like, I wouldn't say vibrate, but wiggle. And we're gonna add that in now. So we're gonna type in shift command option Y, which I think and I believe on a, on a Windows would be shift alt control Y. I wanna have two nulls, so we do that again. I'm gonna name this one, we're gonna name this one jitter. We're gonna name this one drift. Right, now using your whips, you're gonna wanna put this one up to jitter. I'm gonna put this one up to drift. Now highlight both of these using the shift key and press P. This will bring up your position. Alt key on your stopwatch for the jitter and you're gonna wanna type in wiggle and then in brackets 24 and then 0 0.5, close brackets. And now for drift, you're gonna wanna type in wiggle open brackets 0 0.5 and 5. Now you just increase these values if you want it to be more rough. Now this is what we've ended up with. Um, as you can see, you can go further than this and keep editing and keep switching to um, your own likes. But this is uh, just basically a quick tutorial on how to do it if you ever need to do it for like a title sequence or anything. And um, also if you export this, it will come with a clear background, which is good. So everything's good and everything's cool. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on this video if you can. Subscribe. Remember to ring the notification bell if you do subscribe just so you can be updated on my content. It really helps out the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. This is just a quick tip if you want to export this with a clear background. When you click on lossless down here, you want to go to channels, click this and put RGB plus alpha. The alpha will just, just be like an alpha threshold in the background and it'll make the background transparent. Therefore, then you can overlay this on anything you want.